Helen is the master of all things gluten-free. I love your alternative dishes to traditional things just like this. What are we making? So today we're making Cypriot kupes. They're very similar to kibbe. So imagine um, that bulgur crust. Yep which contains gluten. Mm -hmm. We're going gluten-free. We've given them a makeover. So we're going to actually make them with quinoa. So to start, we boil our quinoa. Mm -hmm. So we've just got some white quinoa here. Right. Just add it to a saucepan. Yeah. And Juzzy, we just need to add like double the amount of water. Okay. Now we're just going to let that simmer, Juzzy, for about 10 minutes. Okay. Until it gets light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to blitz it into a paste. Now, whilst that's simmering, what we're going to do is get onto our filling. So mm -hmm. in a fry pan, we add some olive oil. And to that, we're going to add our onions. Okay. And we're just going to sweat these off for about five minutes to get them nice and soft. Right. Yeah, this yeah. is the filling that's going on the inside. Right. Okay, I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to sweat those onions. It releases the moisture so they don't burn. Yep. Jazzy, could you chop some garlic for me? Absolutely. While we get onto the rest of the filling. So what we're going to do now is add some mince to the pan and brown that off. Now, if you want to make a vegetarian version of these, you can oh, use yeah. mushroom. Oh, that's a great so idea. So mushroom's a great option. And if you do use mushroom, it's actually a vegan dish because we're not using any dairy. And I've made this for friends and family. Yeah. They've come over. I've served it as an appetizer yeah. with a quinoa crust and they don't even realise they're eating a quinoa crusted Yes. Kupa or kibi, you could call it, because yeah. it's, you know, essentially the same same dish. Garlic's done. In it goes. Yeah, you can throw that in. Mm -hmm. And then what I'll do is I'll add the rest of my fragrant spices. Mm -hmm. So we'll add our cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So cinnamon and, you know, minced meat, classic combination in Mediterranean cooking. To that we add cumin. Don't you love cumin? That's one of my favourite spices. Yep. And we're just going to sweat that off a bit before we add our um, green herbs. But can you also toss in the pine nuts for me, Juzzy? Yes, absolutely. Fine nuts. So these haven't been toasted, but as they go in there, they'll warm through. Yeah, they'll toast off with the rest of those spices. Yes, very nice. Uh, we might actually add some cracked pepper in here as well, if you can. Okay, some white pepper. Yeah. Say when. Okay, that's enough. And we're just going to cook this off for a few more minutes and then get back to our quinoa paste. Okay. So, Justine, our filling is cooked. Can you just chop those herbs for me? Some parsley and mint. Yep. Really fragrant, iconic Mediterranean herbs. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to add some lemon zest to the pan okay. to bring out those beautiful citrusy notes. And I just go straight into you get all those beautiful essential oils at the same time. So if you just throw those in, we'll okay. toss it all together and then we can get on to making our quinoa paste. I'm right. just going to give that a quick stir. And that filling is basically ready to go. Okay. Now, for the quinoa paste. This is where it gets interesting. This is the technique <laughs> that's very interesting. So we take our cooked quinoa, which has cooled. Mm -hmm. If you can throw it into the food processor, can Juzzy. Do. Thank you. And right. all we need to do is add some salt, pepper and some cinnamon to that, just to, just to flavour it, because quinoa can run slightly bitter. Yes. And I find when you add some cinnamon to it, it balances it out. Nice. And we've got cinnamon in our filling as well, so that, it, you know, it's nicely themed. Yeah, so there's no other sticking agent. No, it when we blitz strong. it now, it'll change structure and it'll turn into a paste that's similar to Play-Doh. You can kind of... It's very pliable. Yes. And you can shape it into whatever you like. This is very cool. OK, let's so put this on. I'm going to keep an eye on it and I can see it's starting to get quite sticky. Paste looks perfect, Justine. So let's get rolling. Okay. So what I like to do here is because the quinoa paste can be quite sticky, right. I like to oil my hands with some extra virgin olive oil. Always okay. extra virgin, of course. Of course. So what we do is just grab a little bit of quinoa paste out of the bowl. Mm -hmm. We roll it into a ball. And then what we do is we flatten it into a disc. And see how ah, that's like Play-Doh? Yes. It's not breaking or crumbling at all. It's actually mm. sticking nicely. No, it's really pliable. And then what you do is you just grab, say, about a tablespoon of filling. Throw it in the centre, like this. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is shape it into a little, like, oval, like a little... Imagine like a mini football, almost. Yeah. And this is where you can really manipulate it into the shape that you like. That's right. And then you just shape it into these little mini footballs. Yep. And we throw those into oh. the deep fry and they turn out nice and crunchy. Oh, this is a revelation. <laughs> Why don't we keep going with these? Sounds good. Justine, I think these are ready. They're nice and golden and crispy. Now, these are piping hot, so you do need to let them cool down before yes. you tuck into them. I am just amazed at how they've really just held their shape 
There's no egg there, there's no cheese, there's no flour binding it together. It's just the quinoa. Just quinoa paste yep. with a few um, spices in it. That's yep. all it is. And how are we going to present this? So what I like to do is put them on a nice platter with a dollop of yoghurt and some lemon wedges and people can just squeeze on their own lemon juice, tuck it into some yoghurt and maybe sprinkle some fresh mint on top as well. Oh, I love the sound of that. Some yogi. When you deep fry food, having that yoghurt, the acidity there is really, really nice. Yeah, the creaminess of the yoghurt cuts through quite nicely against, you know, the spiciness of the filling. Love that. And lastly, a little cheek of lemon. We'll just pop that right there. Wow. Helen, I'm so impressed. This is one of the many recipes from your new book, Gluten-Free Mediterranean. But this one would have to be one of my absolute favourites because it's just so different. Can I break into one Absolutely. Of them? I want to show everyone how delicious this looks. Oh, quinoa that's encasing that meat there. What an outstanding dish. Oh, you're a clever lady. One for you, one for me. Let's dig in. Cheers. I'm going to wait till it cools down a bit. Hot. <laughs>